Yo soy un Latina y un gringa. I'm a Vela and a Walker, and I am proud. I like being half and half. I was born and raised in Harlingen, Texas, and I am a sixth generation Rio Grande Valley South Texan. My father's family migrated from Mexico in the 1800s and lived on a ranch 15 miles north of Edinburgh for many generations. My mother's family is originally from Scotland and Germany and settled in Tennessee and the East Coast. I admire my mother very much. She left her familiar home to come to school in Texas and then traveled further south to take on a new life and a new culture after she married my father. I'm very close to my dad's side of the family. After all, 90% of my large Vela family live south of San Marcos. I've been surrounded by my Hispanic culture because of living in the valley and because my family helps me embrace it. I miss my mom's side of the family too though. There are great people who I hardly get to see but once or twice a year. My mom has an even bigger immediate family than my dad, yet I still hardly get to see them and I know it hurts my mom as well. I have three younger brothers and I am the oldest. After I was born, my mom had to go back to work until she had my next brother. While she was working, my godmother, Magdalena Delgado, took care of me on a daily basis. My tia Magda, who is now 62, crossed over the border at a young age of 19. Shortly after, she found a job, obtained her citizenship, and helped raise my dad and his sisters and brother. Tia Magda is the person I look up to most in my life. She is humble, giving, and loving. She also left a familiar home as my mom did, and to me, that makes them very strong women who I admire. I was not able to do the same. My freshman year of college, I attended the University of Texas at Austin. Yes, I know it may seem to many people ridiculously that I left UT because it is UT, and I get picked on a lot for that. My parents both graduated from that school, so I felt I was supposed to go there. Do not get me wrong. I really enjoyed many things about being in Austin. The city, the beautiful campus, and being a Texas Longhorn, when we had a great football team at that time. But I missed my home. I missed my culture, the food, and even though I'm not very good with my Spanish, I missed just hearing the language. I missed my family, and I missed my boyfriend and his family. I ached to come back to the valley, but I made sure I finished out my first year of college there. I decided to come to UTPA my sophomore year because of its high ranking for a public university in Texas and because of the closer proximity to home. Even though I do not live in Harlingen, I still feel so much more comfortable here. I am very glad I made the move and as a current junior here on campus, I cannot wait to graduate. Even though I am happy, I am a little disappointed with myself deep down inside because I was not able to do what my Tia Magda or my mom did. But I know that if this is a part of God's plan for me, I will venture out to live beyond the Rio Grande Valley somewhere one day. And if I do, I know I will carry the pride I have within me of being half Mexican-American and half Anglo. Or as my dad likes to call all of us, just simply American.